Hey guys, good morning. I was just wondering how hard it could be to just make a small two minute, three minute little movie about your own street or something. And so I just decided to try it myself. There's already somebody. Okay, this is my street. It runs downhill all the way over there. And there is the Hoogarden Brewery. Right across from my house is just a big field. Used to be cows here, but uh, no cows are, are here in the winter. And probably this lot has been sold to build more houses on. So let's take a walk over there. So in the far distance, you can see the Hoogarden Brewery. The old brewery was called the Glass. You can still recognize it's a quite old building with the with the high entrance for the hay wagons and stuff to enter. Now it's all been sold up or bought up rather by the big interbrew company from Leuven and beyond. I think they're mostly based in Brazil. And uh, to the right here there's the modern brewery and you will see exactly where all the beer is stored but over here there's still some old plaque uh, that shows the sign of Hoogharden of course there's a, a cafe next door to have a drink but everything's closed now with corona so we can maybe have a short look and you can see that it says from 17 51 until 1986 and probably it was 1986 when Interbrew bought up Hoogarden beer so we can have just a little peek inside maybe I don't know while you walk in the street you can really see that the street really isn't designed to have these big trucks running up and down the street and having to take turns but uh, when they wanted to move the brewery away from this location the people from Hoogarden protested or mostly politicians from Hoogarden protested uh, but as you can see it's quite dangerous out here with these trucks so here is the main part of the brewery itself where all the trucks come and load up the beer and just transport to the other side of the town where there's still a bottle factory that's being kept alive but if you see how they have to turn here it's quite dangerous and check this it's a daycare so if a truck loses control and runs into there oh man yeah yeah and there used to be this very nice little cafe which is now for sale Café Brem yes, all due to Corona they were already having a hard time before that but still with the whole Corona thing they just couldn't keep their heads above water anymore as you can tell, it's a uh, like 19th century in this industrial building that was like one of the last breweries alive before be beer brewing really died out in Hoogaard. But everything started to go downhill ever since Napoleon abolished the privileges of the church. Uh, the Bishop of Liège had given privileges to Hoogaard to brew beer. And when Napoleon came along, he he uh, did away with those special privileges and then there's still beer production in Hoogarden until well into the 19th century but uh, not as much as it was in the 18th century if you know Hoogarden today it was because some guy in the 60s started brewing again but that's another story okay take care guys